a two homer discount, a six walk markdown, J.A. Hap takes some time to reconsider things after allowing homers to the Yankees' Brecka Gardner and Aaron Judge to lead off Saturday's game, Fred Thornhill, the Canadian press, two and two third innings of a price slashing special. If J.A. Happ increases his trade deadline value with every strikeout, does it stand to reason that his worth depreciates per stinker? Nah. Article continued below The Yankees are still keen on the long lefty to bolster their starting rotation, regardless of what transpired on Saturday afternoon in less than, well, a New York minute. One pitch first home run. Four pitches second home run. A quickie 802 feet worth of jacks. Back-to-back -back homers. Back-to-back -back walks. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. A mixed bag but too many marbles. And a near sellout crowd at the Rogers Center, close to attendance max, circa late summer 2016, that was probably drawn just as much by the possibility that Hap as a J might never pass this way again as by the marquee stature of the New York Ballers. And they were instantly dinger dazed. One could say the Blue Jays still made something of a game out of it. Yankees ace Luis Severino, nearly the major league leader with 13 wins coming in, his 1.98 era the best in the American League, gagged up a brace of bombs too, after all, through five innings, to Kevin Piller and Randall Grichuk. Oledmus Diaz cranked his eighth-round tripper in the ninth off reliever Jason Shreve. Bagatelle footnotes in the Yankees' 8-5 win. Article continued below New York has been switchbacking with Boston for the top of the Alley East, first place exchanging hands a dozen times since May 7. So this middle game in the weekend series meant a great deal to the visitors, trailing the Red Sox by two. For Toronto, it was meaningless beyond the competitive essence of any baseball season, and the pride factor of course, throwing up an obstacle or two but mostly sticking their most reliable pitcher, their only reliable pitcher, really, this season, in the mannequin window, on the auction block, pick your metaphor, turning him this way and that so the carpetbaggers could check his fastball location, his sinker stuff, his bump poise, his molars, etc. Put some teeth, at least, into his composure. Because that's how unflappable, low blood pressure, even on a lousy day at the park. And that's certainly a fetching veteran quality. Enough to overlook the jagged end of the pitching line, four runs surrendered in the first, a third inning nearly as erratic until Jake Petrica, who'd already been up warming in the pen three times, was mercifully summoned by John Gibbons. The manager would shortly thereafter be ejected from the proceedings for jawing with the home plate umpire over balls and strikes. Lance Barrett's keen ears extended all the way to the visitors' dugout since C.C. Sabathia was tossed in the same phase, thereabouts, it's a fine line of trying to force your repertoire on them, make them hit you, and then trying to be too fine, said Hap afterward. I might have got caught up in the middle of that. Too many walks. They hit the two homers, it seems like right now every walk I give up comes around somehow or another. They got that blue pit and the other two came around. I've been good overall at avoiding the free passes. But the last couple of games have hurt, he was coming off a loss versus Detroit that halted his six-game win streak, matching a season-high seven earned runs over five and two-thirds innings. A typical bookend baseball for Hap, which apparently hasn't dimmed his attractiveness ahead of the July 31st non-waiver trade deadline. New York, along with Seattle and Milwaukee, have designs on HAP, considered to offer the best return on the prospect swap for Toronto. His last two starts have gone poorly but the pending free agent is still 10-5 with 115 strikeouts. He doesn't boast the glitz factor of Cole Hamill's the shiniest deadline trinket, but he'd be a whole lot cheaper. In any event, Hap actually lasted longer than Hamels yesterday, the latter never making it out of the first against Detroit, lit up for seven runs. If as appears the case, the Mets don't deal Jacob deGrom and Noah Syndergaard, and they wouldn't send either crosstown to the reviled Yankees anyway, then Hap would seem to be the man. Even more urgently in NYC, with the continuing struggles of Sonny Gray, roasted in the media for his catastrophic outing here Friday. Media pressure moves mountains in the Big Apple. Most assuredly it can move pitchers. 
Hapless, screamed the New York Daily News front page on Saturday, as Gibbons observed, when they get their mind on something, they're going to pursue it, the skipper did his observing pre-game since, as an ejectee, he was not permitted to speak with the media afterward, Gibbons had acknowledged the bizarreness of the situation, Hap on the hill against his web browsers, a little weird. I think, Hap concentrates very well. He can isolate things, still, he joshed about an in-game trade, we're going to have to tell him in the third inning. He's going to have to walk across to the other side, except by the third inning, Hap was already in the showers. Much later, the New York Baseball Bureau was waiting. The general tenor of the questions from the away mooks was that, wow, Hap should consider himself lucky to be coveted by the high and mighty Yankees, I'm just focused on playing for the Blue Jays right now. There's rumors out there, you never know what's speculation, what's truth and what has a realistic chance. So I'm just trying to play and pitch and I'm happy right here, he might genuinely mean it. But, say J.A., was it not disappointing, knowing the Yankees were taking the measure of the moundsman, and then to come a cropper, not any more so than if it was anybody else, he retorted, with just the slightest edge in his voice. I'm trying to compete, I'm trying to win, and it hurts right now as I'm standing talking to you, the results today. It doesn't matter if it's the Yankees or whoever it is. I expect better. I think I'm known for better, anyone scouting Hap would be well aware of his strengths, which weren't on display in this game. I can't remember the last time I walked six guys. So obviously I can be a lot better in that regard. And certainly I can pitch a lot deeper into the ball game. Got to try to move forward from this one and find a way to flush it, Hap has been trade deadline shunted before. This isn't unknown territory, psychologically. But for all his equanimity, the swirling rumors may have got the best of him in the past week, potentially, subconsciously. I know these last two have not been really me or what I would I feel like I'm known for, certainly not what I'm capable of, but he's taken his own pulse and didn't sense either fever or chill, I've been ready to pitch. It hasn't gone my way and I gotta find a way to stop that as soon as possible.